Hey guys, second intro three here today. I'm back with another video. And so you guys requested a while long ago. I don't remember how long ago, but you requested that I make videos on updates for Minecraft. And so here's a snapshot for 1.16 that came out earlier today. It is so amazing. There's some crazy stuff I didn't even expect. So yeah, basically. I can't wait till this is all the nether in the background. So Here's my new world play. I also want to get back to making more Minecraft videos. Hopefully a new series since somebody suggested that I start a new one. And I probably will. Because. Yeah. And maybe I can do it in the snapshot. So that we can actually get the Enderman way easier. So I got everything set up here for us. Um, this is going to be a fairly short video kind of so basically there is the crimson nylium whatever that is hold up let me uh and so what this basically is is from the blue f or from the red forest which is the equivalent to the blue forest which this is warped this is crimson and so those are like the ground. This is a stem, basically, which is pretty much like the wood. This is stripped, kind of like stripped wood. This is a crimson stem, and that's also stripped. Let's just, uh, you know, that's why I got this here. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to do slash clear. There is basalt. I'm not exactly sure what that is. It could be some type of ore, maybe. We got soil, soil which is like soul sand. And I don't know if on normal soul sand you can do this, but I definitely know on here you can. And, well, if you light it, you get blue fire. They have warped stairs, so you actually get planks and stuff. I don't know if there's... Let me see, is there planks that I miss? Yes, there is. So, um, crimson planks and warped planks. Warped stairs, crimson stairs, crimson slab, warped slab. Warped trap door, uh, crimson trap door, crimson fence gate, warped fence gate, crimson button, and warped button. That's just a normal nether portal, so we can go see there later. Now, those are all have to do with the wood, except for over here, I forgot. Warped pressure plate, and uh, crimson pressure plate, crimson door, and warped door. So now we got new doors, gates, all the stuff, new wood, it's just... It's been a long time, so that's awesome. Now, this one is a really nice design. This one, though, looks like the acacia, just a different color. This door I like because it actually looks like stone. And this one's just more like overgrown, vein looking. Uh, right here, we got the warped wart block, which is like the nether wart block. We got block of netherite, which I'll get to that later. Ancient debris, or debris, sorry, from something I'm not sure what, and a shroom light, which is basically like a new form of uh, glowstone. Now, along with the new wood, we also get a crimson sign and a, a warped sign. And as you can see, that's what I put. They have new mushrooms as well, such as the crimson fungi and the warped fungi. I'm not sure if they'll be used in crafting. If they already can, I'm not sure. Crimson roots, warped roots, and nether sprouts. So kind of like grass around the area. And one of the new things that is I did not even expect, and these two are like my favorite things for some reason, soul fire torch and soul fire lantern. I don't know what the difference of everything is. But, yeah, right here, we got some weeping vines, which I couldn't grow it with bone meal, so I'm not sure why. And then here, we got netherite ingot. I couldn't find a netherite ore when I looked through. Netherite scrap. So, yeah, with that, you can um, basically... 
Hold up. Well, there's this armor here. So let's just pull that out and put that on. And I don't exactly know what this does, but it has a nice, like, Roman type helmet feel, I think. And netherite sword, pickaxe, netherite axe, shovel, and a uh, hoe. Oh, hold up. So let's uh, get all that situated. And then right here, the hoglin spawn egg, which is these giant beasts. And what I couldn't find was the piglins. Oh, no. Yeah, the piglins, I guess, aren't in the game yet. But they still have zombie pigmen. So are they going to keep zombie pigmen or remove them when they add the other ones? I don't know, but this is soul fire. So, yeah, that is all of everything I could find so far. I don't know about new mechanics, but let's go into the nether and discover it. As you can see with all these giant shrooms, which are basically like the shrooms off of these things right here, or like nether wart when you're growing it. So that's basically what that is. And um, yeah, what I tend to find, what I found out is that, first off, there's a lot of this everywhere. I couldn't find any other biome for a while, but there is a ton of endermen. All I can see like everywhere is endermen, look. Try and see how many Endermen you'll see while we're flying through here. It's so crazy. I don't know if Endermen spun more here or not more than normal or what, but it's pretty crazy. And this just blue fog adds this amazing effect. Now, what is this? So that's the basalt. Basalt. It's the same, just turned differently, I assume? Yeah. So as we go into this soul sand um, valley that I just found, uh, I want you to keep in mind that all these Endermen here, this is the first time that I saw this. So we're not going to see any piglins for some reason, but it's easier way to find bone blocks than having to find those structures and making them, I assume. So there's these giant basalt structures, and um, yeah, you can see it. It's just my shades. It's just so crazy. And the thing is, what are these structures supposed to be making? Like, what are they? I mean, I take and think about with even the ones you find in the overworld. Like, what did these used to be? Now these are just. They need something like these in caves. Like, that's awesome. And so, now we're inside this biome, and all I can find is soul sand valleys for a while. But, the other one near the ground, there's so much Endermen because they spawn lower down. Is that an Enderman? Maybe. But, yeah. Oh! We found a red one. Oh! That is, uh, ooh, that's not smooth. They need to make a smoother transition, but if not, that's okay. So I guess these ones are only found in here. Here's more of that weeping vine, which can only be placed on the bottom of things, not the side. And um, if we kill one of these, what we should get is just pork, I assume. Oh, rotten flesh. Takes a while to kill them, but that's still okay. Um, yeah, this is, a. Uh, wait, no, I don't know if they're going to get rid of zombie pigmen or not when they add the piglins. That's what I was told. Anyway, these are all that you'll be able to find here. If there's anything that you think I missed, make sure to tell me about that and I'll keep track on everything so far and see what I can do to show you guys. So. That said, thanks for watching.